What's going on everybody, this is Afro Think Tank. Today, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you how simple it is and how simple the paperwork is to buy land and build a house. Uh, you know how thick paperwork is in America just to, to buy a house. You got hundreds and hundreds of papers just to buy a house. Hundreds and hundreds of papers. And I imagine buying land in, in, in America is the same way. Hundreds and hundreds of pieces of documentation that says what? We don't know. It's a whole bunch of lawyer mumbo jumbo. Probably some way to where they can steal it, take it back, do whatever. All sorts of trickery to make it difficult for us to do anything, you know, when it comes to managing our land. Or when they want to come and do something, there's some stipulation in page 5,678 um, freaking section 4 and all that crap. Very complicated. And I know that in other countries and um, I don't know, and it may be like that in other countries in Africa. I know in Ghana, you can't you can't technically buy land or own it, but you can, but you can lease it for like 100 years. I'm not sure how to work, but I know it's something like that. And I know some other African countries is like that. I don't know how it is in the Gambia about purchasing land. I don't know how complicated it is. But one thing, uh, you know, for sure is in Nigeria is very, 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 very simple. And I'm going to show you. Uh, I'm going to blur out a lot of the information because obviously, you know, showing documents, you know, can be very risque because there's a lot of information on there. And, uh, and I, one thing about me is even though I'm putting myself out there to show you guys a little bit of information, I still have to maintain a level of privacy. That's why when people ask me, hey, where exactly are you? I'm never going to tell you. I'll tell you I'm in a kitty, but I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am because that's stupid. When people ask me when am I going somewhere or when I'll be somewhere, I'll never tell anybody exactly when I'll be there or when I'm going because that's stupid. Rule number one, never tell people when you're going somewhere, uh, exact dates. And num rule number two, never tell anybody exactly where you are. Because you don't, I don't know, to be honest, I, I, you know, I love my subscribers, but I don't know, I don't know y'all. All right. And y'all, some of y'all may be crazy. All right. And we know in, in history has shown that there are crazy people out there that will pop up on you. All right. People you don't know that will pop up on you. So I hope you guys appreciate, you know, me walking this edge to show y'all a little something, something, how simple it is, how simple the paperwork is when it comes to purchasing land. OK. OK, as you can see, this is the property residential building. This is the blueprint of the house that I had built. Obviously, I blocked out some information, but you can see my name right there at the top and the consultant right there at the bottom. This is the, big, the front of the page right here. As you can see here. These are the blueprints of the house. Everything is um, is up, up to cold. You know, everything is um, approved by the local government and all regulatory bodies. I mean, everything's legit. There's no, you know, there's no half ass in this. This is a straight up and down um, proper business right here. Here in Nigeria, very simple blueprint of the house that I got built. Okay, at the top left, that's the chief magistrate, the one who facilitated the sale. And top right, that is the, the owner of the land that I purchased from. So that's the owner right there. As you can see, there's my name, Anthony Carter. And you can clearly read that I am the legitimate and actual owner of this land. So this purchase was very simple and straightforward, as you can tell right here. And finally, to seal the deal, you have the chief magistrate, the owner, and myself right here. We signed our, our names, and that's that's it. That is the purchase of the land. So I got the land, you got the house. And it's just that simple, guys. Just that simple. Now look at this. Look how thin that paperwork is. Look how thin that paperwork is. That's the per that's the per that's the building of my house and the purchase of my land. That's the total documentation. That's how simple it is to purchase land in Nigeria, right there. That is ridiculous. That's crazy, isn't it? Simple, easy. Okay, so as you can see, it was very simple, very straightforward, simple documentation. Not a lot of extra over the top lawyer jargon. It's like, hey, I want to sell this land. I'm selling it to this person. This is how much it costs. He paid me. I, yeah, it's his land now. Stamp, sealed, delivered, chief magistrate, is yours. Boom, that simple. Land, there you go, you saw it. Blueprint, this the house, these the measurements, this the one person go home and do it. That simple, that's simple. And then you saw how thin that paperwork was? Like that, all right? 
So even though you saw how heavily edited, you know, look, I ain't y'all don't need to know all my biz wax. I'm just trying to help out. You know what I'm saying? But y'all ain't tracking me. <laughs> but anyway, I hope that uh gave y'all some value. I hope that I hope that um gave you a sense of how simple it is to purchase land in Nigeria to get a house built in Nigeria and you see how legitimate it is. These are companies like any other company. You know, they you know very professional, you know, everything's legitimate, legal, no no hanky panky, no funny business. You know, a lot of stuff going on over there in the Gambia, all right? It ain't like that over here. All right, Nigeria is simple, man. They they do business here. All right. It's all about they do square business here for real. I mean, for all the corruption that you hear about here in Nigeria, there's corruption in every country. There's no more corruption in Nigeria than there is in any other country. It's just that, just like they stereotype and they, and they, and they like to bad mouth, you know, uh, African Americans in America and everybody believe this and that. They also stereotype Nigeria. People love to stereotype Nigeria that everything's corrupt and blah, 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 blah. No, these people do business. It's just that, just like in any place else, there is corruption, like in any other country. Every country has people that are corrupt. But for the most part, Doing business in Nigeria is pretty easy, guys. All right? So that's all I want to say now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is Afro Think Tank. Learn something, teach something. I'm out. You're listening to D -D -D DJ DJ Afro Think Tank. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe.